violence against women or family violence is any gender-based act of violence against women. So it's not just about physical violence, which I think a lot of people think it may be. It's anything that makes a woman feel less important, less valued. Obviously physical violence, there's also emotional abuse, financial abuse, anything really that diminishes the role of a woman or makes her feel less valued in society. I think it's far more prevalent than most people would like to think. It's shocking to look at the statistics. We all know that one woman in Australia is killed on average every week by either their partner or someone known to them. Well, one in three women have experienced some sort of physical or sexual violence, and one in four children have witnessed domestic violence, and I think they're statistics that are totally unacceptable. Unfortunately, uh, as police officers, we see far too much violence by men against women. On average, we can get up to 15 reports a day of uh, family violence matters. From the actual court perspective, in the Magistrates' Court, for example, over the last five years, we've had some 8,000 uh, cases with a family violence flag, and that's out of approximately 35,000 cases a year. The effects on the community are really broad and probably much more than, than you would think. It's not just the one person that's affected, particularly in my role where I've worked with children and young people. We see that the effects on the children are extreme. And what we know through brain development is that actually stops our children from learning and thriving. But what I've grown to learn is that it's not just a community issue, it's a workplace issue. So we've got people in our organisation who don't feel safe to go home at night. I think that's just an appalling situation and something that we have to do something about. The effects range from things like absenteeism um, to individuals being unable to perform at their best within the workplace, um, unable to form relationships, appropriate relationships at work. What Warren Ribbon is doing and has done in this agency is shine a light on an issue what otherwise would have been brushed under the carpet or not spoken about. The accreditation process, if you like, provides us with an opportunity to have the bigger discussion. I think there's been a, a culture of um, considering family violence as something that is within the family and doesn't relate to other members of the community. Um, people tend to um, say, well, that's someone else's business, it's not about me. And I think that does um, cause a lack of recognition. I come from a family that has been impacted by family violence and certainly my mother was probably at the other end of emotional abuse and psychological abuse and she was very lucky to escape it when I was about 10. So personally I think it's critically important. Embarking on the White Ribbon accreditation process has enabled us to more fully understand the issue not only for the community but as a workplace issue and it's surprised me just how many people, very brave and courageous women have come forward and told me their stories about what their lives are like. It's had a really uh, positive effect. It's brought to the fore the issue of violence against women, but more importantly, working with White Ribbon, we've been able to put in place training, strategies and events that have actually given our workforce and me the tools that we need to be able to deal with it more effectively. I think that White Ribbon is a really important step towards making sure that everybody is aware of the impact of family violence and that it is unacceptable in our modern day society. The most significant cultural change I've seen is that people are now talking about the issue for the first time. There's a, a conversation happening that actually says this isn't good enough, what we're doing isn't good enough and it needs to stop. And we've all got sons and daughters or someone that we can influence. And if we can influence in a positive way, which White Ribbon is all about, then we'll actually make a big difference in our community. Well, the Tasmanian government is a, a really significant employer in its own right. And so that's, that's important. If you're impacting on employees, you're also impacting on their families. So my hope is that over time, we do affect the cultural change within the Australian community and can have a community where we don't have violence against women. And we can actually be confident that women in our society are safe and feel safe. And as a community, and as a mother, as an aunt, as a cousin, we just really need to see it stop. It's pretty simple. We all have a right to be respected, but also too, we also have a responsibility to respect others. By my actions and the actions of others in the department, we might be able to help. If we can help just one woman deal with those sorts of situations, 
then this will have been worthwhile. We commit to living the way and working together to change attitudes and behaviours that perpetuate men's violence against women. It starts with me. And it starts with you. And it starts with each and every one of us. It's about not walking past what we know is not right. We can all do that.